Hi, we're Jordana and Grant from Shot in the Dark Travel. Come join us on our epic adventures around Southeast Asia. Experience the magic of Dalat with us. We brave the famous Weasel Poop Coffee, take an exhilarating roller coaster ride to the magnificent Dantala waterfalls, and enjoy many mouth watering local delicacies. Join us on this glorious journey of adventure and flavours. So before we head out for the day, I thought I would just show you our room. So we're staying at Jesse's Greenhouse in Dalat. It's pretty central, it's near the market, so it's a really good location. We've got one of the king rooms, which is about 600,000 dong a night, so it's pretty cheap. The room's nice and spacious, there's a big double bed. Window here, so there's a bit of light. Really big room, as you can see, with a sofa, TV. Fairly standard bathroom. Overall, it's okay, it's nothing special. I would say it could probably do with more storage, as you probably saw from the walk around. We've got quite a lot of stuff everywhere. We don't really pack light, and there just isn't anywhere really to put our stuff, so we've got it just laid out everywhere. And there's a little bit of a damp smell in the bathroom, which isn't massively pleasant, but the room's cheap. The location's good. It's near like where all the bars and restaurants are in the night market, so you know, I'm relatively happy with it. We are here at Me Lin Coffee Farm, and it's a beautiful day, and we're going to be drinking some Weasel Poo coffee. <laughs> it's about a 20, 30 minute drive from our um, hotel um, in the city centre, and it was around 290,000 dong um, for two coffees, uh, which is kind of like um, Starbucks price. <laughs> it's quite expensive, um, but you can. we're in a quite a touristy place, so it's to be expected. And look at the view. And the views are incredible. Yeah, so we're gonna let this brew for a little bit and then we're gonna try and we're gonna let you guys know what we think of our weasel poop coffee. So I've gone for an iced version, which basically they just give you a cup of ice to pour your coffee in and your condensed milk. Um, I've gone for the cherry uh, flavoured because apparently that's less bitter and it's a little bit more sweeter and Grant's gone for the original one which is called Arabica Arabica uh, weasel coffee and that's a bit more stronger so we've got a bit of like the best of both worlds but yeah I'm gonna start pouring it in now So I've just realized I've not explained to you guys what weasel poo coffee is. It's basically a weasel will eat the coffee beans and then poop, <laughs> poop it out. <laughs> and then supposedly, because it's been like digested by the weasel, the coffee beans that they poo out then make nicer, tastier coffee than if you just use the original coffee bean. I'm incredibly dubious of this. I just, I don't quite see how you can take something add a bit of animal feces and make it tastier. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like that's gonna make it less tasty to me. But, but apparently it's a big thing here in Dalat, so we thought we'd best try it. Like, yeah. you can't knock it until you try it. So here goes to trying it. Just tastes like really strong coffee. Really strong coffee? Yeah, it does really taste of, ah. well, I don't know what I was expecting. Slightly anticlimactic for the first ever drink that's been pooed by a small animal. I thought it was gonna... I think just the knowing kind of puts me just off. puts you off of it. So it just tastes really similar to normal coffee? Mm. It's really strong coffee. Jordana isn't usually a fan of coffee, so I didn't think she was gonna like the weasel poo coffee. I think the real taste test is when it comes to me because I actually like coffee. So it's my turn for the taste test. First ever weasel poo coffee. Here goes. I'm a little bit nervous. It's really nice. It just tastes like really nice coffee that's a little on the strong side for me. And it doesn't even taste pooey at all. Like not even one, not even one hint of weasel poo flavor in there. So yeah, thumbs up from me. <laughs> Yay for the not pooey coffee.
So we're in the production area where they make the coffee and you can actually see the freshly pooped coffee beans that come straight out of the weasel's bum. It looks basically just like normal coffee beans, but they're a bit sticker, a bit a bit stickier, a bit clumpier, a bit browner. It's a bit slightly gross to know that that's what I've drunk, but it tasted nice. So we've just finished our time at the Weasel Coffee Farm. It was really interesting, really beautiful scenes. And if you're really into Instagrammable, like little bits whilst you're walking, there's loads of photo opportunities if that's what you're up for. Weasel poop coffee gives you wings. It does. <laughs> Did a bit of Googling on the way. Apparently this pose makes you feel much better, so that's what I'm going to go for. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> So we're just here at Bang Trang Nuong and we're trying Vietnamese pizza. Now this is known all around Vietnam but apparently it's really loved here in Dalat and it's one of like the best places to try it is apparently in Dalat. So we've got various little things that I might be getting wrong but I'm going to try and tell you what we've got here. So we've got a queer leg one with cheese and then we've got a special which has like a mixture of like cheese and sausages and um, I'm not sure, uh, like onion and these are like crispy like rice paper with like egg and then lots of different toppings basically and then we also have um, a soft one um, and it's rolled up and that has various again meats and cheeses and egg and things like that and then we've also got some spicy sauce and some sweet sauce mixed together with some chilies and we're going to dip that in so I've got my trusty uh, scissors I'm going to start cutting up some slices for me and Grant. How does it taste? Mm. It's really good. I've never had anything like this. It's really good. This sauce is amazing as well. Mm. <laughs> Can't do it. Shouldn't do that back, anyway. Right. I'm going for it. Mm. That is I think I prefer that to this one. Do you? Really nice, yeah. I really huh? like this one. This one's gorgeous. I'll be honest, I don't have a clue what's in it. <laughs> but it tastes nice. <laughs> so that's all that matters. We didn't really know exactly what we wanted, so we just asked the uh, the guy serving us what he'd recommend. So we've gone for three different bits, and so far they are all incredible and super cheap as well. I'll flash the price up for the total on the screen. I can't even remember exactly how much they were, but they were incredibly cheap. So this is a great little lunch option. Definitely recommend it. So we are at Dantala Falls, which is a series of waterfalls just south of Dalat. And they're supposed to be really cool, it's one of the main touristy things to do, so really looking forward to it. The way to get here, you get a taxi to drop you off at the top, and then you get a roller coaster all the way down to the falls. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, Grant, slow, 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 slow! I'm literally gonna hit I don't you. care! Oh god, I don't. Whoa! I feel like we're gonna come off the track. Ah! Oh god. Oh my god, slow. Slow, slow. Grant, you're ignoring me. I am, I'm slowing it, I'm slowing it. We are halfway down the roller coaster. Jordana, how are you finding it? <laughs> I don't know. Not sure. She's not really looking forward to the second half. I'm in charge of the accelerator and the brake, and she doesn't really like it. 
Even though I'm going very careful. It's not. It's not. Uh, like Almost it. at the top. Ah! Ah! Slow, slow, slow. <laughs> slow, Brent, slow. This is horrible. Look, slow. I am, I am, I am. You're not. Uh. Look at the camera. Uh, slow, slow. <laughs> slow, it says slow, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a video of me going fast. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Thank you. Here's a little pro tip for you. If you're gonna be riding with your partner, your friend, your girlfriend, wife, whatever, if they're a bit of a scaredy cat, go separate. Because we had to go really slow the entire way down. You're in control of like the accelerator or the brake. Jordana was just shouting, break, break, break the whole way down. So it wasn't quite as thrilling as it could have been. <laughs> it was fun, but it could have been a bit more thrilling if I'd have gone by myself. So oh, bear that in mind. Oh, okay. And yeah, we're going to have a look around, show you what we get up to. to go to Ho Shuang Long Lake. I'm probably butchering that. Um, but yeah, we've got these paddleos, as you can see. Our legs are paddling super fast. Working off those uh, Vietnamese pizzas. Uh, but yeah, it's so beautiful. Like the sun's just about to go down and yeah, it's just a lovely little afternoon like finisher really. Where should we go? Should we just go down to that round? Yeah. Not gonna lie, my legs are getting pretty tired from pedaling on this pedaler. So we're gonna take it in, have a drink on the lake, watch the sunset, and then we're gonna go back to our room, get ready, and head out for some food. And just look at our lovely sunset. Jordana insists on buying spicy food, even though she knows I'm not good at spice. I had one bite and it's just like blowing my head off. I've lost a block. It's really not that bad. It's really nice, but it's too hot. <laughs> Grand! <laughs> It's called chili chicken. I don't really know what you expected. It's called chili chicken. <laughs> I want to eat more, but my tongue's on fire. After a very tasty meal that was maybe a tiny bit too spicy for me, we had a quick look around the Delat Night Market. To be honest, it was okay, but for us it probably didn't live up to the hype.
We're not doing loads today. Yesterday we had quite a late night drinking. I felt a bit rough and we've got some work to do this morning as well. So I didn't get it done. So I'm now just having to do it this afternoon. So all we're doing really is just chilling today, getting some work done and we've just come out for lunch and we're gonna come out for tea as well. So we've come out for lunch at De Quay, or De Quay, I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's really highly recommended, got great reviews and also it does one of the meals that Jordan has been wanting to have whilst we're in the lap. So yeah, I'm super, super excited to try this because it looks delicious. So it's basically like on a sizzling plate or it comes in like a metal plate and it's got um, lots of different meats, so like pork and beef, um, a sausage, uh, egg, and then it's got like a, a really rich sauce, and then cheese, and it comes with like the crusty bread that you'd normally get in a normal like bar me. So it's basically like a kind of like a messy bar me, but it's like saucy, and instead of obviously having it as a sandwich, you have to kind of like dip it in things, um, and then you get like a big side salad on the side, and yeah, there's lots of different tastes and things, so I'm really, really excited. It just looks delicious, and it's a big just pile of sloppy, yummy food, basically. So we're gonna get that to share and some uh, Vietnamese uh, spring rolls um, and wash it down with a beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is like a Dalat speciality. Um, a lot of people eat this in Dalat. I think it's more of a breakfast thing, um, but we're having it as a late lunch. <laughs> I can't tell you how delicious this smells and the heat coming off it, honestly. It's really like a spicy, sweety smell coming off it and it, oh, it looks delicious. I can't wait to dip my bread in all the sauce. It looks really good. Mmm, real good. Mm. That is really, really tasty sauce. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so I'm gonna look how runny that is. I'm gonna have a bit of the beef with it. A bit of the sauce as well. The beef is so tender, it's so, so nice. There's a lot of like smoky, sweet flavors, really, really good. So we've just finished our food, which we realized we forgot to tell you the name of. So it's called Ban Mi Chow. Which means flaming Ban Mi, if I'm correct. I might be wrong, but that's what I read. What did you think of it? Um, I thought it was one of my favorite Vietnamese dishes. I thought it was really, really tasty better than a bad me, and I will definitely be ordering it again. I thought it was really, really good. I've got a very happy belly right now. Yeah, I loved it as well. I think we both really liked bad me's, but just having this bit, just like extra saucy, dribbling in just amazing goodness. Cheese and pate, and sausage, and, uh, beef, pork, like, oh, it's just, yeah, really good. I definitely recommend having the dish here. It was really, really good. And it's got loads of really good reviews on um, Google. So yeah, I definitely recommend coming here. It's super cheap as well, which always helps. So uh, the Ban Mi Chow was, I think, 79,000 dong, which yeah. is crazy cheap to say we shared it between two. And the beers were like 20 or 25,000 dong each, depending on which one you got. So yeah, can't go wrong. So we've now come to Primavera, Italian restaurant in Dalat, two nights in a row. What would you say you think of it overall? I think it's really, really good, authentic Italian food, like hence why we've come back twice. The fondue yesterday was exquisite. And then the pasta was absolutely delicious. And like, when you come here, you walk in the door and you just hit by the smell of garlic and it's great. Like, it's so, so nice. And yeah, all the food is really rich and delicious. Like, you're gonna really enjoy eating here. So this is our last meal in Dalat, so I need to come somewhere really nice. So we've come to Ban Mi 47, which is a really highly rated place, and it specialises in Ban Mi Shumai. 
tights here? I think so. Let me just check. <laughs> yeah, Banh Mi Siu Mai. <laughs> so we've got a Banh Mi Siu Mai here, which is, so it's meatballs in like a brothy soup with onions, and then you've got the bread with it. And then we've also gone for the special plate, which has pate, it's got chicken, it's got egg, it's got cheese on it. And again, you'd have it with the brothy soup and with the bread. So, super excited for this. It's supposed to be another like speciality of the region and we've come to a restaurant that specializes in it. So, in theory, this is gonna be gorgeous and a really nice way to finish our Dalat trip. Um, also, Grant forgot to mention, we have another speciality that's in Dalat. It's the soy milk and it's hot soy milk. It's supposed to be a little bit sweet, but apparently everybody goes mad for it. So I'm gonna try this first, but it smells really nice. I wouldn't say soy milk's my kind of thing, but it just, it smells really like warming and nice. But yeah, I'm gonna try it. Oh, do you know what? It's like kind of like a porridgey taste, but like a sweet porridge. It's really nice. This for me looks and smells so good. I can't wait to break it open. Oh, that crunch. I don't know if you guys could hear that crunch, but that was so crunchy. So I put a little bit of chili in the soup and I'm gonna dip my really fluffy but crunchy bread in the soup. Mmm. <laughs> It's so flavoursome, you wouldn't expect it, but it's so nice. I'm gonna have a bite of the meatball as well. Oh, wow. That is delicious. Wow. Really, really tasty. There's lots of things going on there that I'm not quite, not quite sure what's going on. It looks. It literally looks like, a, a, you know, a meatball in water with a bit of herbs on it, but it's so, so tasty. Like, it's so flavoursome. You're just not expecting it at all. Mmm. The meatball just falls away in your mouth. It's gorgeous. Mmm. Yeah, I'm gonna love that, Graham. It's really, really good. I'm gonna try a bit of the beef now. Mmm, this is so good. I love coming to places like this because you just don't expect everything to taste so, so good. It all looks, you know, like home cooking and comfort food, but it looks so like there's not much to it. And then when you eat it, the taste that you, like, you have is so, so good. I'm gonna try a bit of the pate now with a bit of the egg. Well, they that's cheese. I think you're getting all the cheese. Yeah, that's cheese. A bit of egg. And a bit of pate. I'm going to dip it in the broth. No, oh, you're going to lose your meat there. I'm not. Oh, she's not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she's lost it. I told you that we're going to happen. I lost it, I lost it. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. It is so, so good. And we have to stop telling you how good it is and let Grant have some because it is delicious. I was thinking that I've been filming for ages and I want to eat. <laughs> it's so, so good. Cracking, Grant, cracking. Mm. Going for a dunk. I've got a bit of chicken, a bit of egg, a bit of herbs, <laughs> dunking broth. With some bread, that is just incredible. It's like the nicest broth ever. I don't understand how they've done it because it just looks like water, but it's so tasty. Yeah, I mean, we had some good food in the line. This has absolutely lived up to expectations. This is incredible. New favourite breakfast. This is now the end of our time in Delight. It's been such a nice way to go out on a fantastic breakfast. So we're full, we're happy, we're ready to head out. And yeah, the last just it surprised me. It's a much bigger, like more hustling, bustling city than I expected. The food has been fantastic. There's lots of bars and restaurants, and there's quite a lot of good touristy things to do as well. So we've really enjoyed it. 
We hope you've liked watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, get more tips for where to go in Vietnam, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you like the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.